everyone welcome to the English drill in this video we are going to explore how you can write or approach a certain topic for a reflective essay in different ways now total English for class 12 ISC has a range of interesting topics for reflective essays or free choice compositions which I am going to discuss today so if you get a topic like hobbies, how can you frame a reflective composition out of it? You can probably start with what hobbies exactly mean to you or a general definition of what hobbies are. A general definition. The introduction can be a general definition or what you understand by the term hobbies. So that can be your introduction. In the next paragraph, you can write about the different kinds of hobbies that individuals tend to have. Different kinds of hobbies, different inclinations of an individual. What are the hobbies that you are familiar with? What are the hobbies that you have heard your friends indulging in? The next paragraph can be about how these hobbies evolve as per the different stages of an individual's life because what you like to do when you were five years old is very very different from what you probably like to do now so how those hobbies evolve how those hobbies change depending upon the stages of an individual's life depending upon the age the individual is so how does that change over time? You can also include a paragraph about your personal experience, your own hobbies. What kind of hobbies do you possess? What kind of hobbies did you have when you were a child and what do you have now? What do you like to do in your free time now? You can also incorporate a paragraph where you discuss the advantages and disadvantages of having a hobby that can also be there you can also incorporate something like this under a reflective essay it's totally all right you can write about how hobbies have helped you to deal with different events that you have encountered in your life to deal with different rough patches that you've had in your life, the merits of hobbies in your life and also you can write about how your hobbies have had t at times distracted you from your main focus. So see this is how you include threads of argument in your essay which I discussed in the first video. So the advantages and disadvantages, the merits and demerits of having a hobby. You can also write about modern and traditional hobbies. Now, it's not like you have to write all of these things in one particular composition. You can take three or four ideas from here and develop on them in separate paragraphs but this is how you can approach the same topic in different ways or have different ideas under different paragraphs under the same topic so it's not like you have to stick to any one particular kind of approach you can just blend all of these things but remember maintain a logical connection between your paragraphs between the different paragraphs now if you're given a topic like sports this too you can develop in various different ways you can write about how sports are really important for an individual how it's important for the individual's physical and mental well-being how sports keep you fit and healthy you can also write about the different kinds of sports in the world, about the Olympics, about the different games, about the different indoor and outdoor games 
that people all over the world indulge in. You can also write about how sports has developed in India. You can also write about the history of sports and the relevance of sports in the world or in an individual's life. You can also focus on one particular sport that you personally enjoy a lot. So that will be a paragraph on your personal experience and how you loved playing that sport. You can also include a paragraph about how you are not really involved in any kinds of sports. Yes, that can also be done. It's not like just because you're writing about sports, you have to have a paragraph of personal experience where you're out there really involved in it, really engaged in a sport. No, you can also write about how you are not involved, not engaged, and then state a few reasons as to why that happened, whether it was by choice or whether it was because of certain health constraints, physical constraints, absolutely all right. Or how you were very athletic at one point of time, probably in your childhood, but now you no longer are the same. Why that happened? That will make an interesting paragraph. So you can involve personal experience in it. You can also write about the conflict between sports and academics, which is, I think, something most of us can relate to. The conflicts between sports and academics, how certain people, even after being really good at a particular kind of sport, has to abandon the sport at a later time in their lives and, you know, pursue academics or pursue a more general career path. If you get a topic like nature, it's very, very easy. So you can write about how to protect nature, how nature is important to all of us, the role of nature in human beings' life and in their experience of the world. You can also talk about how nature has been depicted variously by different poets and authors in poetry and literature. So here, if you get a topic like nature, it's very easy to talk about how human beings are polluting nature, the different kinds of pollutions and how different aspects of nature are being affected by the different kinds of pollutions. So this is a topic that you know a lot about. And if you get topics like these, I'm quite sure that you will be able to write a lot on it because this is something you keep studying in science about nature, about pollution, about health and hygiene and how to protect nature and how nature is being affected by global warming and this and that. So it's easy, even if you get a topic like global warming, I'm quite sure you can approach it in a variety of ways and address different things in different paragraphs. You'll never run short of things to write about. Now, if you get something like seasons, a topic like seasons, this is also, I believe, very easy to write. You can begin with a general introduction on what seasons are, how many types of seasons India has, and then you can address different, different paragraphs for different types of seasons, describing what is special about each season, why you like a particular kind of season over the others, what is special about each season, the kind of festivals you have in each season, and why or how you experience each of these seasons. And then conclude with a general, general importance of different kinds of seasons in a human being's life and how a human being associates with each of these different seasons and why you think seasons are so important. Having a variety of seasons is so important. So this is one topic. If you get a topic like kindness or manners, 
then you have to be very very wise you have to be very very politically correct and judiciously attempt these essays because through this topic and the way you approach the topic the examiner will get to know a lot about your own character so if you get a topic like manners you definitely have to focus on the importance of manners in a human being's life how manners can really create a good impression help you advance in life if you get a topic like kindness you can write about how kindness should be displayed towards all creatures around you be it human beings or animals or plants how kindness is very very important and how the virtue of kindness is often you know mistaken for weakness people think that just because a person is too kind maybe that person is weak but actually kindness is a strength and how it can be used as a strength how you can use the virtue of kindness to bring about positive changes in the world you can also incorporate a paragraph on your own personal experience where someone probably showed you kindness where you were going through something very difficult in your life and how that charged you up encouraged you motivated you and helped pull you out of that dark place so this is something that's going to be very interesting or you can also write about how your act of kindness a certain act of kindness that you showed towards another person or towards an animal which has made positive changes in that person or animal's life which in turn reflected back into your own life and filled you with very positive feelings with hope with inspiration which in turn helped you bring about positive changes in your own life and be really grateful to people around you how it has helped you realize the importance of kindness in your life and in the lives of the people around you so this is how you can approach the same topic in different ways so either you approach the topic in one particular way or you can include different paragraphs approaching the same topic in different ways but with a logical connection between the separate paragraphs using transitional words and phrases or internal connections between these paragraphs some connection in the ideas that will link one paragraph with the other so these are the various types of topics that you can get under your one word free choice reflective compositions yes it is easy at times to attempt reflective compositions if the topics are generic if the topics are something that you have thought a lot about or you can write a lot about but at times you get topics like you know perseverance or you know observation or different things which you cannot probably think a lot about on spot because you have to finish a whole paper of 100 marks in a very limited period of time so if you get topics like these which you haven't really thought about or which you think you cannot really write a lot about in that particular moment of time with a time crunch already don't go for reflective essays go for easier topics like descriptive narrative essays or if you are a good story writer you can go for stories or even picture compositions provided that the picture given to you is worth writing on you're confident that you can write something on that don't go for reflective essays and if you get a get get an easy topic like seasons which you can write a lot about different seasons what is special about the different seasons 
each of that can make one separate paragraph if you get topics like that definitely go for reflective composition no problem but be careful and choose wisely choose the essay topic very very wisely so that's all i had to say hope you learned something new out of this video hope this helped you and uh, you will have two sample reflective essays along with this unit so after you go through them you'll get a clearer idea of how you can frame a reflective essay properly based on the topic that has been given to you thank you that's all for this video see you once again in the next video